Andrew. Track nine ten nine seven. First, I don't even remember the words. I'm just going off on a limb here. I'm just a poor boy. Or it's girl. You're just a poor girl. Afraid of this cruel. Taken away from it all. Um... I should have warmed up before doing any of this stuff because, uh, whatever. But what I, what I'm doing is like, um, you know, it's just very light. It's not always like this belto, and I'm just, you know, pushing from the diaphragm ever so slightly to create and push it into more my cheeky nose. You're just a poor. Girl, it's almost like it's full voice, but it's just on the precipice of going um, almost as light as you would falsetto. Um, but just a bit more of your body putting into it, using you know, um, like your your bass, your clef, you know, and 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 then obviously for the the really high notes. Um, the passaggio, like almost like feeling your your forehead vibrate, you know. Um, but I mean, you know, like you, you're talking about too, like very, very like high singing when you're going up there. And you know, I, I like I mean, hitting your like you were saying, like a D and that stuff. And, and as I go on in my career, it's it, I would like to really save myself for stuff like that. And I'm the kind of singer. Uh, Andrew, that the longer I sing, the stronger I get, and the the richer the voice gets, and the more round and fuller it starts to sound. But you know, like <laughs> like just making those those transformations from like a, a sweeter tone to a harder tone. Uh, I think that that just comes from yourself just really like digging into how you can pull from your body, pushing through your, your bone structure. And like you were saying, you know, your chest tones and, and all that. And, and um, really just figuring out your sound. Um, I find nowadays, you know, singing up in the really high register, you know, that's something that I think any singer in his right mind should save. And, and just use it as a real dynamic tool. Because when you start doing five and six shows a week, and you're out there for almost seven weeks, that's when you're, you know, you're really taxing this thing. And, um, but here's the other thing. So like I use this, Andrew, and it's called the Dr. Vox, and you can go on jamievendera.com. And it's basically, See the water bubbling? I put it around number five. I put it around number five. But. And anyways, you do that for like 20 minutes, um, doing like pleb scales and stuff like that. It really opens it up. I should have done that before getting on here and showing you stuff like vocally, but um, yeah, it just vibrates the chords, it massages them puts them in a really good position. You feel completely warmed up and uh, yeah. So anyways, Andrew, um, best of luck with your endeavors. Um, it's cool that you're studying this and 
I'm going to school and I hope you graduate and you're able to fulfill your dreams in music fully. Okay? And, um, okay, man. And looking forward to getting back out there and touring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, beside you. All right. Take care, Andrew. Yeah. See you, man. Bye.